Hi, today we're talking about narrow canopy tree management. It's a system that we use here and we're going to talk about what the advantages of that system are, the different types that you can have and the variations that we have here and finally how do you get a young tree into these different shapes. So here's a narrow canopy pear and you can see the great advantage of that. More of this blossom is exposed to the sun, you get a greater yield, you get a much higher proportion of the fruit forming a good shape, a good quality, very even coloration. And the consequence of this narrow canopy system is, although the yield per tree is lower, we can plant our trees much closer and it gives us overall a much higher yield on the whole orchard. And what we're gonna move on to next is the different forms of this narrow canopy system that you can have. So you might think that the narrow canopy system just has to have a single stem in the middle and that would be the only form you can have. And here's a good example of it with this thorn pear. It goes straight up, very narrow, and then you can see the blossom in the canopy forming there. And gradually over the years, this tree will get wider to roughly two meters. Let's have a look at a couple of the other systems that we have here. So here's Chisel Jersey, which is a great cider apple. And you can see the, the center leader system here has two branches going up. And what that has is two major advantages. One is that it splits the vigor between the two branches, which slows down the flow of sap and seems to produce more fruit per each of these branches, which is great. The second advantage is that we can, if we want to, shorten this one back eventually and turn this tree into a single centre leader if we think it's getting too congested. We're splitting the, the load initially and we're also hedging our bets, which gives this double system, um, in my eye, really a, a better advantage. But here's the third variation of the narrow canopy system with Blakeney pear. You can see it's got multiple branches. It's still narrow, but they're going up in upward direction and we can keep this tree to within two meters. This is a particularly good system for stone fruit, which we find really thrive with this multiple center leader system. So we're going to look at how you get to this narrow canopy system using a young tree. This tree is approximately five years old and it's grown quite slowly, it's on Quince. And it's at the point now where I have to, quite a lot of different options and decisions to make to make it this narrow canopy shape. So first of all, I've got the blossom on there, which I'm going to remove. Once it's opened, I leave the blossom on to allow it to pollinate the other pears, which are bigger, and then I'll remove that. And what that will do is it will drive the growth in the way that I want. But you can also see the vegetative buds here, which are green, already starting to open. And they're very important because I have to decide this year how many of these branches I leave on. And what I'll probably have to do is to shorten this branch back probably to about here and encourage this centre leader here. So that means that this will become the dominant branch and then this will be kept short. If I allow them both to come up as a pair, I think they're a bit too close together, too far down. If the join was higher up, I'd probably allow them to become a forked tree. So let's have a look at another tree where we're gonna look at a different way of managing. So here's a different example where I've very narrow uh, sort of options. I've got a single centre leader here. All I need to do is remove the flower buds once they've opened and that will promote that central bud and we can just drive this tree up out of the, of the mesh and produce a single centre leader tree. Here's another tree where I've got a number of options. This is Newton Pippin, which is a great American apple. I've got this extra branch, which I'm probably going to leave in this year. But what I'll probably do is shorten this back in July to an outward facing bud to cause slowing down of that growth. But the branch I'm really interested in is this one because I can get this to go up as a centre leader and maybe shorten that one back. But that way I'll have two major branches to play with and that'll give me a double centre leader tree, but still a narrow canopy. So these are all the options that we have. So there we have it. These are the various options of the centre leader tree. You can see that there's lots of flexibility. You don't just have to have one system and this is how you can make your trees more productive.